Hoping he's got what it takes to get those chairs spinning is tonight's next act, 55-year-old family man Bob Blakely from Stockport. My house can be a bit of a madhouse when we all get together with just that many people in the back garden, you know. Bob loves his family and his friends. He'll help anybody, do anything for anybody. I couldn't do without them. They're fabulous. He's, a, he's happiest when he's singing. Granddad loved them all. Basically, I work in a massive, chilled warehouse. I love my job. The people, they really are good guys. Oh, yeah, Bob, yeah, sound, yeah, good bloke, do anything for you. Hard worker, one of the best we've got here, to be honest. I sing all the time at work. Oh, the shag They call me Bob FM. <laughs> uh, like a, a walking human radio. <laughs> yeah. I'm 55. This doesn't happen to people of my age. Oh, I never thought it would. I don't know what will happen in the future, but I'm relishing being here now. What's your name, mate? Uh, I'm Bob Blakely. Bob. I'm 55 and I'm from Stockport. Wow. <laughs> and how long have you been singing? Started in 2007. Wow. What? So I was a taxi driver for 30 years. <laughs> Earlier on, I was bringing the children up and what right. that, you know, families and things like that. So that, that took, the, uh, took the time, so... But... Um, <laughs> I decided to. Uh, I've decided to have a go. And uh, just to say, but you are a professional singer now, though, right? No, no. I'm a well, warehouse operative. What? <laughs> well, you should be. You should be a professional singer. You know, that's that's how good you are. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, it was amazing, wasn't it, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Um, the four of us didn't turn around. But I think you just made the whole country, like, get off their seats and everyone in the crowd. Well, th thank you. Yay! Thank you very much. So, Tom, we did meet back in the 80s when I was taxi driving, but it was only a hello. I only said hello. <laughs> was I in the cab? Uh, no, sir, you were uh, stood at, in reception at a hotel. Uh, we said hello and that was it. And, that, and, and you've been my idol since I was in my teens, so... It's, oh, a, nice. it's a great pleasure to sing for you. Thank you. I'm trying to put my heart 
back together because I think you deserve to be on the show I, more than just. That's very kind of you to say so. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, your voice was just pristine. The, you know, you, you, it was like a glove between what the band was doing, what you were doing, and you sound like a pro. Look, I'm absolutely fun, phenomenal. Thank you. Like if Frank Sinatra was here, he would be like, wow, I want to take you on tour with me. Thank you, sir. That's very kind of you to say so. You have a pure voice. You have a really, really strong, pure voice. And I would have liked to have heard more of it with a simpler arrangement. OK, sir. And, and that's, the, that's the only criticism that I have. But your singing uh, is flawless. It's a beautiful voice with a beautiful tone. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Sir Tom. That's what... That means, that, that means a lot. That's what you were meant to do. You were born with that voice and you were meant to sing. So you should be singing all over the place. Yeah. You, because you're great, honestly. Yeah. Thank you, Sir Tom. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sir Thank you. Thank He's got a great voice. It was almost there. Almost. You did me <laughs> oh. You were absolutely sensational. Yeah, I couldn't I believe I what yeah. came out. Yeah. I just had, I obviously had no idea. And... Thank you, Adam. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. It's been a pleasure to meet you. Thank you, to meet you too. The whole experience has been off the scale. It's been amazing. Really amazing. The show is about people like Bob. He shouldn't have went home. Sorry. Jeez, he can sing that fella, Jeez. It does, and it does make you sad that... I mean, it's a shame that... so many undiscovered people. I mean, I know you had to make a living. You know, you, you have to do that in the best way you can. But it's a shame when it, when it, when it takes you out of what you... Yeah. You know, what you love to do. That sounded really experienced. It did. I, 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 I swear to God, it sounded like I was listening to, like, a James Bond soundtrack. Oh, sure. He walk off the stage still smiling like, thanks, guys. Yeah. Like, that's the kind of energy you need for anything you want to do in life. Whether you're baking a cake and you think it's going to come out fluffy and it's all flat like a pancake, whoever made a pancake was trying to bake a cake. And now we got pancakes. See, look at how that works. <laughs>